Hello, my beautiful Libras. Thank you for coming to my channel. Um, uh, guys, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. Um, this is going to be for April 2019. Yes, I know it's April. It's April already. So um, it's going to be for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages for April 2019. It's going to be you and your partner. And um, basically, I'm going to lay down all the cards, and then we're going to get started. So guys, if this doesn't resonate with you, check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. And also remember, these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with everyone. Let me get situated in my chair here. They're not going to be resonating with everyone. So the only way to really get an understanding of your own personal situation is to get a personal reading by going to the link below or going to jenniferwalkerson.com. Okay, so what's going on, Libra? Tell me what's going on with Libra's energies. Tell me what's going on with Libra's romantic love life for April 2019. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. 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 What's going on with Libra's love interest or whoever Libra is here for? What's going on with their partner or whoever they're here for in their romantic love life for April 2019? Right. Oh yeah. What divides these two romantically? What divides these two romantically? What divides these two romantically? Okay. What brings these two together romantically? Okay. Um, all right. So let me just look over all of this real quickly. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so someone here is very defensive when it comes to love. Nine of Wands. Someone is very, very defensive. Like, look at that. They're like holding back the wands. They're just like, oh my God. They're a bit wounded. They've been through it. They've had a test of faith here with the Nine of Wands. So, yeah, definitely. Let's see what's going on with your partner or who they're here for. They are uh, having some kind of movement when it comes to love knight of cups so some kind of movement when it comes to love uh possibly um something to do with a water sign person um cancer scorpio pisces or they're trying to move forward in love with you and you are feeling a bit defensive you're feeling a bit defensive with the knight of wands okay so let's see what the next card is for you um you have the ten of swords here so you're feeling defensive because you've been hurt. You feel like you've been backstabbed here, okay? You really feel like you've been hurt, you've been backstabbed. And this is potentially because of the fact that maybe uh, this person you're dealing with hasn't made wise choices when it comes to love here with this King of Cups energy. And uh, maybe now they want to make wise choices when it comes to love. Maybe uh, mm -hmm. you've been hurt in the past by someone else. Let's keep going here. So why are you so defensive? Because somebody has been deceptive to you. They've been lying, they've been de deceptive. Maybe there was some kind of potential another person here. Maybe someone hasn't been exactly honest with you. Maybe there's something here that's kind of sneaky with this. See the fox card down there? Something is kind of sneaky, something sly there. Okay, on the other side, your partner, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So obviously, uh, someone here is single on their side, or they're focusing on getting their finances together with the Nine of Pentacles. So let's take a look at that and that. So maybe someone has been sneaky or hasn't been completely honest about maybe getting their finances together, or maybe someone hasn't been completely honest about being single, right? Because of the fact you have the moon card here, which shows some kind of deception or some kind of hidden mm -hmm. peril, something confusing to you, something you don't understand, some kind of confusion. And why is that? Because someone on this side is trying to hold on for assured success, for a pentacles, right? So let me just take a look overall here. So it looks to me like you're having some kind of defensive energy going on and you've been hurt. You've been feeling like you're backstabbed because someone's been doing some kind of sneaky behavior and something has been hidden from you. Then you have on this other side over here, 
and what has been hidden. So far it looks to me like you could be dealing with a water sign person. They could be involving finances. Maybe they're hiding something involving finances or hiding from the fact that maybe they're not single here or that that they are dealing with their finances or working on getting their finances together. And um, we have the King of Cups here and we have movement and love. So wise decisions when it comes to love and movement and when it comes to love. And why is that? Because they want to have a short success. Four of Pentacles says they want to hold on to the situation. But obviously you feel hurt by this. You feel backstabbed by what they did. Um, it doesn't look like there's any third party here, but I can't be sure until I clarify. So let's take a look. Let's see what the sneaky behavior was about. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Oh, Spirit just wanted to throw the cards down. Something surrounding family and something to do with some foreign love or foreign travel. Because the, the boat can, the ship can represent foreign love. It can also represent something to do with travel and something to do with family. So there was something sneaky around this situation when it came to that. Focus camera, focus. Ay, 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 okay. Okay, why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? Let me just shuffle this real quick. Why is the moon card here? 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 Oh, okay. Well, it could be something involving sex here because of the fact the whip is here. It's some kind of repetitive task. It could be a job. It could be arguments. Surrounding some kind of knowledge of the book. And what's this knowledge? And what's this knowledge? And what's this knowledge? Could be secrets too. What's this knowledge about? What's this knowledge about? Something to do with a burden. Somebody's burdened by something. Somebody is hiding something here. Something, someone is definitely hiding something here. Interesting. And definitely, you know what divides you guys is secrets. This person is definitely keeping stuff from you. Hmm. Okay, let's kind of dig further on this. We go with the, these cards here so we can dig deeper. Why is the Ten of Swords here? You're definitely backstabbed. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? I think it's pertaining to money or something pertaining to an earth sign person or something to do with the boss here with the, the king of pentacles let me get another card on that someone's wheel of fortune was turned in their favor and the cherry card says some kind of movement okay so this backstabbing this deception has something to do with movement family and possibly money here but i'm not seeing so far that there's another person but definitely they're doing something that's not, not quite right here. I mean, I'd have to personally look at your own situation to see more information, but um, why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Yeah, I definitely see something surrounding money here. Because uh, we got the Empress with the, with the Nine of Pentacles. So material abundance. And something to do with someone being single or something to do with material abundance here or money getting money together why is the king of cups here 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 hmm queen of wands okay someone waiting to gain perspective so there potentially is another person here, a fire sign person, Aries said to cherish a Leo that someone's trying to gain perspective about, and they're trying to make wise decisions when it comes to um, emotions and love. Why is the four of pentacles here? 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 Something to do with the choice here. Someone, this person's have a lot of worry, anxiety about it about a decision or communication with the Page of Swords. So it looks like a few things are going on. This is a very complex situation, but a few things seem to be going on here. 
first of all, they're definitely someone's backstabbing you and someone is um, being deceptive and someone is definitely lying uh, and they're, they're holding something back about they potentially could already be in a relationship. Maybe they're saying that they're single to hold on for a short success or there's something surrounding finances here because I see the Empress card. And what separates you guys? The separation card is actually the High Priestess card. What is the High Priestess card? She has to do with secrets. She has to do with intuition. So someone's not using their intuition and someone is, is not using their intuition or it's something to do with secrets here. And what brings you guys together? What brings you guys together is someone looking at their options, interesting enough. So let's throw a card on that. Why does the Seven of Cups bring these two together? Why does the Seven of Cups bring these two together? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Because of some kind of opportunity for long-term commitment. About uh, a choice. And we're looking at pentacles again. A choice. So this person, obviously, it's surrounding something to do with either another person or something surrounding finances here, or looking at options of finances. But yeah, definitely be careful. I do see some backstabbing going on here. I see sneaky behavior. I see stuff that needs to be revealed. And obviously, choices are what bring you guys together. That's interesting. So guys, if you want more information on what's going on with the situation and you want to get a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the link below and definitely leave in the comments and tell me what's going on here because this is a, this definitely looks pretty, pretty intense. I mean, this is like seven of swords. We got the moon card here and, and we got the fact that someone's backstabbing. My God. Okay. Well guys, I, I send you my blessings. Um, um, and uh, I, I hope that uh, whatever this is, is resolved. And yeah, let me get some advice for you before we clear this out. Um, can you give me some advice for Libra, Summon Rising Venus sign for the romantic love life, please? Can you give me some understanding of why the uh, Seven of Cups is bringing these two together? Why is the Seven of Cups bringing these two together? Show the card I need to see. Show the card I need to see. The Seven of Cups is bringing you guys together because there's an attraction here. There's some kind of attraction here. Okay, um, guys, I love you so much. I send you my blessings. And yeah, please let me know what's going on with this situation in the comments below. I love you guys so much. Have a great April.